What's up guys, this is Skytech Freak and today for you I have the video review of Lineage OS 16 for the Samsung Galaxy S9, specifically the Exynos variant, not the Snapdragon variant. And Lineage OS 16 is basically the Lineage OS ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi or Android P. And this is an unofficial release of Lineage OS. It is actually the only the second build by uh, XDA user Rainbow Dash. And it's an official ROM, it's not a semi-GSI or a generic system image. It's actually built on device trees. That's something that's very clearly stated on the XDA post. Uh, this is, like I said, only the second release of this ROM. So I'm running the February 17th version of this ROM. And since it's an unofficial ROM, obviously there are no OTA updates. And uh, there are a few minor things that are broken, but I think for all intents and purposes, this is a pretty functional ROM. I don't see any major uh, breaks in this ROM that would prevent you from using this as your daily driver. Uh, of course, the battery life, etc., is not exactly as good as either the stock ROM or even ROMs from the last generation that were built on Android Oreo that have become official releases like Resurrection, uh, Resurrection Remix uh, for Oreo or Lineage 15.1, which was available for this device. So yeah, this, uh, this Lineage OS 16 is available for both the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. I have the S9 here, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into the ROM. So let's do a quick overview of the ROM. So as you can see, this is the ambient display. It shows you your notifications here and uh, battery percentage. This might not be bright enough for you to see. Um, another thing that works fine is the fingerprint sensor, and it's actually pretty fast. So I think before you turn the phone around, the fingerprint sensor already reads it. And I think this is one of the concerns I had with Lineage OS 15.1, where I felt like the fingerprint sensor wasn't working quite as fast as maybe the stock ROM or Resurrection Remix, but I think they fix it in this Lineage OS 16 build. One of the things that uh, I found was maybe a bug in this ROM is the fact that I have an, uh, a SanDisk 128GB um, SD card in, and this is something that he's addressed in another build of his, where he's not only putting out Rainbow Dash, I'm talking about the developer, who has not only made uh, the Lineage OS ROM, but he's also made a Pixel Experience ROM, and a lot of people were complaining about this. So I think he's fixed the fact that some people were having problems with the like where the device was saying that the SD card is corrupted. I think he's fixed that in his uh, Pixel Experience version of the ROM, but uh, it hasn't been fixed yet on the Lineage OS ROM. But I think because he has a fix, I'm sure it'll be coming out soon, maybe in the next build. Uh, so yeah, that was one of the things I'm not really able to access my SD card without formatting it. Maybe if I format it, I might. Uh, be able to access it but i don't want to do that there's a lot of data on there and um you know when i switch to another rom or if i use it normally the sd card doesn't show corruption or it doesn't show that it's corrupted at all it's only this rom that's sort of reading it as corrupted but apart from that i mean the browser will let you browse everything that's on the internal storage and i guess if your sd card can be read it'll easily let you read everything on the sd card as well because i'm not getting that option i just get internal storage uh, apart from that, everything else is completely working on the ROM. Let's first go and verify that this is what I'm calling it. Right, so just to show you that this is in fact Lineage OS 16, I'm going to go into settings, I'm going to go into system, and in advanced, I'm going to be showing you that on updater it says Lineage OS 16.0. If you go for checking for updates, they'll obviously say no updates found because, of course, unofficial build, so you don't really get OTAs. Uh, otherwise, other things that you can see in the system settings. Uh, of course, it'll show you that updated to Android 9. So, you know, the version number of the Android OS is Android 9 Pi. You can go to gestures and, of course, instead of having the nav bar, you can go around to the new uh, Android P gestures, which are just like this bar. And um, as you can see, this is the recent screen also for Android Pi. So basically, I'm just trying to show you that this is, in fact, Android Pi and Lineage OS built on Android Pi. Uh, of course, all the things that come with Lineage OS in terms of customization and things like, for example, in display, you can choose the style. So right now you have that olive green Lineage OS default. I prefer, of course, blueberry, which is like the pixel color. And so you can see that it has now been changed to blueberry. Um, other things with display are also adaptive brightness. You can change that. Uh, you can change, this is uh, light, live display or like night sight or whatever you want to call it to get rid of the blue filter. You can just choose when you want it. I have it off, of course. Uh, so basically, yeah, everything is pretty much 100% functional on this ROM. The first release didn't have uh, utilization for dual speakers, but he's fixed that in the 17th February update. 
All right, so quickly just to show show you guys that the speakers work and the YouTube etc work completely fine on this device. I've installed YouTube and let's just open up a video and of course it has to be about the Galaxy S10 which is now the new flagship uh, Galaxy device which is why I think it's actually the best time right now to go ahead and install a custom ROM on your S9 while it fades away into glory. Uh, anyways, so like you can see pinch to zoom works basically both speakers are working your volume dial Different goes up pretty Samsung high. Software. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, it's actually surprising how loud uh, this phone can get with its dual speakers. Like I said, the, the initial release of this ROM didn't have utilization for dual speakers, but uh, the 17th February update did fix that. So that's basically all I wanted to show you as far as what all works in this ROM. Let me just verify to you that even the camera works so we can take a quick picture of the spider pig from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and you can see basically it's really good quality. Um, I have gotten one or two of the Gcam versions like the ported Google camera apps to work. I've actually managed to get iDance 4.1 fixed APK to work. So basically just install the APK. Don't flash the libraries because if you flash the libraries it just breaks not only the Google camera but it breaks the camera for the entire ROM so it completely messes it up. So if you just install uh, Google camera by IDAN version 4.1 fix it basically gets you uh, some of the functionality of Google camera. It doesn't have all of them. I think uh, sometimes the front camera doesn't work and things like that. So I think obviously um, especially on Android Pie the Samsung Galaxy Exynos needs a lot of work in terms of a port for Google camera because again this is like really good camera hardware and it'll be a shame to like uh, just have to use the stock lineage camera So that's everything about the ROM everything works like I said calling texting etc work the browser works You can install of course Google Chrome. It's not something that comes stock on the ROM, but if you flash uh, Google Apps, of course you get the Play Store and then everything's open music works um, basically just Trying to tell you that this is a completely functional day-to-day -day daily use ROM But let's also talk about some of the bugs, right? So I already told you about how uh, the SD card will sometimes read as corrupted, which is like problematic uh, if you, especially if you don't want to sort of format that. And I can't really guarantee that if you do format it, uh, it'll be able to read it because I haven't personally tried it. But other things that are broken in this ROM are uh, the fact that your signal bar, I actually don't have a SIM put inside this, so it's going to say emergency calls only. But even if you do have a functional SIM, the signal bar always shows that it has zero signal or zero strength but you will still be able to make calls etc so it's just the it's just like a visual thing where the icon will show that there's no signal or no signal strength but you will still be able to make calls and send messages and use uh, mobile data and stuff like that uh, as far as wireless connections of course uh, as you can see uh, my wi-fi works my bluetooth works mobile data will work if i put a sim in there uh, flashlight for torch basically i think what i'm trying to get at is that this is completely a usable rom there's pretty much Nothing I can really nitpick at except of course that the SD card sometimes shows or for some users is showing corrupted and uh, even though it's not corrupted and of course the signal strength. Uh, apart from that I think our, the first release was a little slow as well but uh, the user that actually posted this or made this ROM Rainbow Dash has since updated uh, the kernel and things like that. So now, now that we've taken a look at the ROM itself and I think uh, if you are convinced that you do want to flash this on your Galaxy S9 device. Uh, let's go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. So you just want to restart into recovery and we'll take it from there. And now, obviously, to flash this ROM or any ROM, you will obviously need a Samsung Galaxy S9 with an unlocked bootloader and uh, a custom recovery installed. So TWRP in this case. And basically the steps are the following. You want to first go into wipe and just wipe everything. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I obviously have this ROM installed on my phone, but I'm going to take you through those steps. Once you've wiped everything, you want to go into install and basically there's a very specific vendor image that uh, is required to flash this ROM. So before you even flash the ROM, you want to go into, uh, you want to find where exactly you've saved the CSA vendor.img. So instead of, you want to go ahead and change from install zip to install image. And basically you just want to flash this in the vendor image. Uh, so you want to just put that in the vendor image, which is CSA2 and then you want to flash it. So CSA2 is basically the vendor image of uh, one UI, but it's before the February update. So basically this is like the January one UI Android 9.0 vendor image that you will need. 
you won't be able to actually flash the ROM unless you act, you flash this in the vendor image because you'll get an error if you try to go to the ROM and uh, you basically try to flash this lineage ROM. If you don't have the vendor installed, it'll say error vendor not detected. So obviously after you've wiped it and then you've installed that vendor in vendor image, then obviously you want to go into um, lineage OS. You want to flash that. Uh, once you're done flashing that, of course, you can also go ahead and flash G apps if you want. Um, I use G apps micro. That's a personal preference thing. I think pretty much all the Google apps for uh, 9.0 Android that are ARM64 should work on your device without any problem. So you just want to flash G apps. And then of course you just want to reboot and wait for your device to start up. And that's basically just how you install uh, Lineage OS 16 or Android Pie on this device. Like I said, besides Lineage OS, the same user has also made uh, a Pixel Experience ROM. I prefer Lineage OS. If you prefer Pixel, uh, Pixel Experience, that's another thing. That's another very popular ROM. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you thought this was helpful, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see any other Galaxy S9 ROMs or any other videos on the Galaxy S9, uh, just put a comment in there if you want to see the Pixel Experience ROM. Or of course, now that there have been a few ROMs by one user, there are a lot of other ROMs coming up like AOSP Extended and things like that. So if you want to see any of uh, those ROMs on the S9, let me know. As far as like learning how to unlock the bootloader and installing a custom recovery, there's plenty of videos for that on the S9 that are already available. So um, you can look those out before you try to install these ROMs. But yeah, of course, everything I've said for this S9 is basically applicable to the S9 Plus as well, just because those builds come together. And just to clarify one last time, this is of course only for the Exynos variant. It's not for the Snapdragon variant. So definitely be careful of that before you try flashing things like this uh, and that's all like i said if you like the video like and subscribe if you have any recommendations for future videos let me know but thank you